Hey, welcome to another episode of Reason Explained. Today we're going to go over some quick uh, keyboard shortcuts that will help you move quickly and efficiently through Reason. So first off, the most common shortcuts that I use are F5 to get to my mixer view, F6 to get to my rack view, and F7 to get to my sequencer view. The majority of the shortcuts that I use are actually in the sequencer view because that's where I do most of my fine tune work and stuff. Up in the left corner, you have your seven different cursor types, and those correspond to the first seven letters on the keyboard. So Q, W, E, R, T, Y, and U. And if you hover over these, you'll notice that it says what each shortcut is. And that's true for all buttons inside of Reason. If you scroll down to the bottom, you've got your blocks mode. So hitting B will toggle between block and um, song mode. And this is block mode. This is song mode. You can see it up here in the corner, which one you're in. It's grayed out, so you know. Next up is the transport section. Spacebar is the one that I use the most. That's just play and stop. Um, but if you, again, if you hover over, you have shift return for stop and command return for record. Um, but like I said, if you hit spacebar, it will play and hit spacebar again, it will stop it. Um, last down here, you can hit L to toggle between loop on and off, which is a good function if you're trying to mess with some things. In the actual sequencer view itself, some of the functions that I use all the time. I'm going to change my snap real quick so I can show you easily. If we select a file, hold down Alt, and then drag that file, you can easily copy things. This is nice when you're trying to copy large sections or things like that. Another thing you can do, Command or Control A will select everything. Command C will copy everything and notice how it queues up to the very last file. And then Command V will paste everything. So let's undo that a couple times. Lastly, if we select a file and hit P, it will cue the playback and start right away. So up in the rack view, F6 to get to that, those same copy and paste functions work in here as well. So if I select a combinator, hold down Alt and drag it down, I now have a full copy of that wired in and everything. This function also works inside the combinator. If we expand the combinator out, select the equalizer, hold down Alt, it will copy that right down. If I wanted to select everything, I would click the top one, hold down Shift, and click the last device in the rack. Hold down Alt, and just drag them down, and now we've got everything there. And again, Command Z will undo that. So this is a nice function when you're working with an instrument combinator and you're trying to stack oscillators or make fairly large um, instrument patches. You can copy things quickly and you'll save a lot of time not doing the same settings over and over and over again. Or loading patches for that matter. So next, if we tab around to the back, you'll notice that there's always a big mess of cables everywhere. If we hit K, we can move between what's connected and what's not. So right now we have it to not show any cables if I select any in or output, then it will show that cable selected to it. We can change the way that looks by going up to Reason and Preferences. And in the General section, Reduce Cable Clutter Settings, Show for Selected Devices. And now if we close this, it will only show, it will dim the rest of the cables and show the, the cables that are connected to that specific device. So the equalizer just uh, shows that, things like that. So that's the way that I like to have that. And again, K will toggle back and forth between that tab back around. And another function I use, and I use this all the time, is F8. That takes you to your tool window, and this has all kinds of things to use. So again, those are the most common um, features that I use with the keyboard shortcuts to really help my workflow be efficient. And if you want to see these in action, you can check out my channel, youtube.com slash reason explained, and uh, see them in action.